Hi everybody, this is Pippin Williamson with Pippin's Pages and Pippin'sPlugins.com and I would like to give you a demo of my Restrict Content plugin. This is the Restrict Content Pro. Uh, I've been teasing that this plugin is going to be coming out pretty soon here for about a week or so now. And anyway, along with the, uh, the preview post that I released last night with some screenshots, I would like to go ahead and give you a live demo of this. So this plugin right now is currently running on my dev site. And so you're actually going to see it in action with some live data. Um, and so I'm just going to kind of take you through the page. I'm not really going to show you extensively just how to use it, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you kind of uh, some of the screens of it and how, how it functions. So first of all, we have a new menu called Restrict. And when you first go here, it's going to list all of your paid subscribers. So we can see their username over here, their ID number, their email, the current subscription that they have. So in this case, I have free, hobby coder, coder by night, etc. Uh, we can see their status right here. We can see whether they are a recurring member. And we can see a variety of other things, such as their expiration, their user role, etc. Uh, we can also up here we can see all of our users of different statuses. We have active, pending, expired, and canceled users. Uh, also from this page we can also let's say let's say we have a whole bunch of users and we want to change it to a certain number per page and now we can view those and we can go over to page two, page three, etc. We can add a new user subscription right over here. So let's say you have a user that's registered in WordPress and you want to give them a subscription. You can do that right here. Uh, we have our subscription levels. Uh, these are basically your membership packages. They each have a name, a description, a duration, a price, and then you guys see the number of currently active subscribers on each one. Uh, you can edit each one. You can move them around. This is the order that they'll be displayed on the registration form. And obviously you can create a new subscription. Uh, this plugin also has a full discounts code plugin, I mean system built into it. So for example, I have a discount code in here called Christmas. If you use the Christmas discount code, now this is on the dev site obviously, you will get a 10% discount off of your subscription price. And that will be a 10% whether it's for uh, a one-time payment or for a recurring. Uh, and we can see that this has been used five times. We, want, we can also deactivate this so that it can't be used any longer, but we can restore it later on. Uh, we can also have payment tracking. So here I can view all of the payments that have come in. Now these were kind of uh, test ones that I put in so they didn't have any data actually recorded. But these last two you can see were actually recorded for this subscription. Uh, this one has a subscription key which is a unique key generated for each subscription. The date, excuse the selection, uh, the date the payment was made, the amount, and the user that made the payment. And we can see our total earnings down here. We have a variety of settings for the plugin. Uh, we can go and configure the messages that are displayed when a user doesn't have access, privilege to access some content. It's fully integrated with the PayPal API, uh, including enables you to access it in sandbox mode for testing. We can customize uh, our signup forms with jQuery validation or not. We can customize the emails that get sent out every time a user subscribes, cancels their subscription, their ex subscription is expired, or they sign up for a free trial. Uh, we have a variety of other settings, and we can also log uh, anything so we can keep track of whether or not the plugin is working. We also have the ability to export, so we can export all of our active subscribers, or pending, expired, or canceled, uh, from any or all subscriptions. We can export them down directly to a CSV. We can also export all of our, our payments if you want to keep track of them for your own record keeping. And we also have MailChimp integration. Uh, this is technically an add-on plugin that's going to be released at the same time, but this gives you integration with MailChimp on the registration form. So the registration form looks about like this. You have your regular uh, username, email, password, etc. forms, and then you have the option to choose your subscription. You simply choose which one you want. Let's say Hobby Coder, uh, and we see this is $6 for one month, or we have Coder by Night, which is $17 for three months. If you want, you can enter your discount codes, such as Christmas, like we did. You can choose whether you want to auto-renew, so this would be a subscription or a one-time payment, and you can automatically sign up for the newsletter that we set up with MailChimp. Uh, an Aweber integration is also going to be coming. Um, but so anyway, so that's the plugin. There are several other screens to it, quite a bit more actually, but I don't have quite time to show you that in this five minute video. Um, so that's what I want to show you. This is coming out sometime within the next two weeks. It's going to be uh, made live on my site for my subscriptions, so it'll be kind of put through its real paces in the live world uh, sometime next week. So anyway, thanks for watching. That's Restrict Content Pro.